Stolitz has been my OTP ever since Hell of a Boss first started. In my last Stolitz video, I explained why I don't think that the pairing is as toxic as people seem to make it out to be. And finally, in Truth Seekers, Blitz expressed interest in pursuing a relationship with Stolus. However, in this video, I'll be discussing why I don't think that the relationship will work out yet. Before I do though, consider subscribing if you're into Hell of a Boss and want more theories. Doing so ensures that you don't miss out on new ones and prevents my channel from sinking into the abyss of the algorithm. Oh, and be sure to check out my Discord server, Twitter, and Patreon in the description. Now back to the video. <sighs> Finally some... thing I can handle. Okay, so let's begin by discussing why things won't work yet on Stolis's side. The first issue is obvious. The dude is married to Stella. Yes, there's a pretty big chance it's arranged, and neither one is really committed to the other anymore. However, that certainly doesn't mean that this marriage doesn't complicate things. For starters, he has his daughter's well-being to think about. In episode 2, he vowed not to run away with Blitz and forget about her. While merely entering a relationship with the devilishly handsome imp doesn't fully break this vow, Octavia Octavia's home life would definitely be shaken up more than it already is if they were to officially get together. Stella's already pissed off about Stolish cheating, and I can't imagine what Octavia's home life would be like if things went even further without resolving their marital issues. Next, I think it's actually disrespectful towards Blitz that he hasn't made steps to end things with Stella yet before pursuing him. Both to Stella and Octavia, Stolish actually seems to dismiss Blitz as just a fling, rather than a relationship he takes seriously. Why, hello, my <laughs> now that things are going further, is Stolas still going to treat the relationship like it's nothing? Given the frivolity he's displayed so far, I wouldn't put it past him. In general, Stolas needs to stop treating Blitz like he's just a fuck toy. There are times where Blitz seems genuinely uncomfortable with the way that Stolas treats him, and not in a cute, flirty, cindere way like it sometimes is either. I think it was made clear in the last episode that Blitz is looking for something more than just sex, and unfortunately, he isn't really getting anything but that from Stolas right now. I think part of Stolas' problem is feeling like he's above everything. As a Goetia, Hell Royalty, this kind of attitude is to be expected. He feels like he can do anything he wants because he's powerful and no one can say no to him. I think using his portal as leverage to get Blitz to have sex with him is a great example of that. I was thinking, what if we worked out some kind of exchange. To clarify, the exchange of the book for sexual favours is really no different to sex work, which I don't have a problem with. But it does say a lot about Stolas that he'd buy Blitz's consent rather than earn it. As we saw in the last episode that the show wants its characters to grow and improve, I'd be surprised if this behaviour was normal and just something that flies in this show's strange sense of morality. Before we move on, I also want to clarify that I think Stolas genuinely cares for Blitz outside of sex sex, but he's not done a great job of showing that yet. Now we need to take a look at Blitz's side of things. It's obvious to anyone who watched the last episode that Blitzy has a shit ton of issues to work out when it comes to intimacy. If Blitz wants a serious relationship, then he's going to need to work everything out first, lest he wants the relationship in question to be doomed to failure. First of all, I believe Blitz's advance towards Stolas at the end of the episode might have happened for all the wrong reasons. Obviously Blitz is afraid of intimacy, fearing that if he lets anybody get too close, he'll be burned. Can you still shove away anyone who gets too close until they resent you? Because Stolas is the only demon in Blitz's life right now, who he hasn't scared of and who he has romantic interest in, I worry that Blitz made a move so soon after having his hallucinations due to worrying about losing him, while not actually being ready for a relationship with him yet. And Blitz not being ready is a huge factor here. The dude hasn't properly resolved the issues that he had in his last relationship. Guys, trust me, it's going to take more than me merely addressing the issues during a goddamn acid trip to fix all of that. Sure, he may be willing to let Stolas get close enough to him to see him naked, but is he willing to let Stolas see him emotionally naked? That advance he made was purely sexual. That was easy for Blitz. On the contrary, I think we'll start seeing Blitz push Stolas even further away than he already was, at least emotionally. Not to mention, if Blitz does ever feel comfortable enough to open up to Stolas, his fear will be validated if Stolas maintains his frivolous attitude and continues to not take him seriously. You are so cute when you are serious. This all of course isn't just to say that I don't think the two of them could ever work. Obviously, I really, really, really want them to. But I think they both have a lot of growing and changing to do before they can have a good, healthy relationship together. 
like this video if you enjoyed it, subscribe for more, and share your hot stolas takes in the comment section down below. Again, my social links are all in the description. Thanks for watching, and see you later.